So how is it like working with Cash Money? How did that whole collaboration and this whole deal come about? Um, long story short, you know, kind of told the story a million times. Um, Stunner basically just came to Atlanta in 2014. He came to Atlanta. Um, Rich Homie Quan's father was working with him at the time, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he kind of like introduced me to Stunner. And uh, Rich Homie Quan's putting in good words for me, Young Thug, and putting in good words for me. And I ended up getting a deal, cash money. You know what I'm saying? And that was 2014, that was four years ago. I was 20, 19, 20, I'm going to be 24 and it feel good working with Cash Money. It's just dreams come true. Like everything that happened over here for me. You know, before I signed the Cash Money, I was independent. And when I signed the Cash Money, I saw the shift. Not saying there's no room being independent, but I saw the shift from when I got a deal. You know what I mean? It was everything that I actually dreamed of. Everything um, that I dreamed of actually happened right now. I'm nominated for my first award last night. Shout out to I Heart. Bruno Mars won, but you know, just to be nominated is the best. And you spoke about dreams and yeah. visualization. Yeah. When did you start to see your dream come to, into fruition. And when was that when I went um, tour, like tour, when I had like, my first tour. When I did the move tour, I dropped a mixtape called Move, and we went on a 27 city tour, and we sold out the tour, you know what I'm saying? We sold out like 26 cities out of 27. And that's when I knew going out there every night, I felt like, cause I had been doing shows, you know, I've been performing on stage since I was nine. Been in the studios I was 12, you know, been like in the games I was 14, but, when I went on my own tour, it was like, dang, you know, the tour buses and everything, pulling up to the, I remember we pulled up to the first city, and I remember they was just outside screaming when the bus came in, like, you know how I'd be on the movies and stuff like that? <laughs> and when the bus came in, I remember all the fans out there screaming, I was like, damn, this shit real. And, you know, now I'm just walking in, you know, like, I just went platinum. When I went gold, I was happy, but, you know, that's just, gold is just the first step. You know, you go gold, that's not 10, you hard enough, you gonna go platinum. So I always knew it was gonna go platinum, but even when I went gold, I was excited. Stone was telling me not even to get the gold platinum. You feel me? He was like, man, I'm gonna get you the platinum platinum. I, mean, I, I want the gold one too, though. It's my first one. It ain't my real team. You know what I'm saying? But it just feel good. Like, this is where I'm at. You know, this is where I'm gonna be. You're such an inspiration to so many young people, and you also have a great sense of community. Yeah. Do you, are you involved in any philanthropy organization at the moment that you can discuss with us? Well, um, I have, well, the 4275 organization, of course that's the name of my album, but we do a lot of stuff for the homeless, like back one from. So my mom and sisters, they always go out probably like every two weeks, and they go out around the city of Atlanta and just like, you know, give out food, clothes, you know. My mom go through a closet like every week and try to, we go out and try to give away clothes, give away stuff. So we try to do a lot of stuff for the community, and then um, I did it when I went on the move tour the year before last, I had like a day in my neighborhood where I like have food for everybody, get the blow ups, you know what I'm saying, get the whole community to come out and have a good time, but as far as giving back, that's what we do, you know what I'm saying, for right now, but we plan on doing more, you know what I'm saying.